Now you're ready for Alice Chapter 1, Lesson 5. We're going to apply the four-step programming process for another program. You're going to be taking notes as you go through this lesson, so make sure, if you haven't done so already, open the notes document, put your name in the header, and you should probably go ahead and save it in your student account using your name as part of the file name. Let's begin. Our learning, for, our learning target for today is to follow the four-step process in problem solving and design to create a Snow People program in Alice. Remember that step one is to understand the problem. So we're going to look at the scenario for our Snow People project. There are going to be several snow people outdoors on a snowy covered landscape. A snowman is trying to meet a snowwoman who is talking with her, her friend, which is another snowwoman. The snowman tries to get her attention. He turns to face the snow, snowwoman and says, ahem. She turns to look at the snowman and he blinks his eyes at her. She blushes. That means her head is going to turn red. But alas, she is not interested in meeting him. She gives him a cold shoulder and turns back to talk to her friend. He hangs his head in disappointment and turns away. Let's see an example of a finished project that is the snow people. Now the movie went pretty fast, so let's watch it again. He's turning to face her, he says ahem. She turns to face him, his eyes are going to move up and down. And then she turns away, her head blushes. He hangs his head and turns away. So that's what your program is going to do, something like that. You can modify it a little bit. It's going to be difficult to make his eyes go up and down, um, but so you might do something else instead. This now that video was created with an older version of Alice, so you're not going to find exactly the same characters, but the story can be basically the same with whatever characters you choose. So let's go to your notes, and the first thing you need to do for step one is understand the problem. So you've seen the video a couple of times now. I would like for you to write one or two sentences that describe what this program will do. So pause the video and write your short summary. Now you're going to identify the objects. So you're going to write down, on, also in step one, what are your objects? Are you going to use a snowman and two snowwomen? Are you going to use something else? Do you want to have any props? Write down your objects. Now you're also going to identify the actions. What are they going to do? Move forward, turn around, speak. So on the step one and the third section, write down what actions are going to be performed. I've completed my step one. I've got my sentence. I've got the objects and I gave each one of them a name and then I put down some actions. Now maybe you are going to include more actions in this so your storyboard, your step number one does not have to look like mine but here's just an example of what it can look like. Now let's talk about the design. We're going to be setting up the scene and developing an algorithm or a storyboard. You're going to write a textual storyboard or algorithm in your notes. So remember, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step list of the actions that are happening. Use your notes document to write your algorithm. Go ahead and pause the video right now and write your algorithm. While you're working on that, I'll just do a quick workup too. Okay, are you ready to do your algorithm? Let's just watch the movie again. And I'm just going to stop it as we go. So the snowman turns to face snow woman. Or we could even say that this one is Jane. Okay, snowman says, this is Bob. Okay, and then Jane turns her head to see Bob. And then we're going to just keep going. 
So I'm going to finish up my algorithm. I want you to pause the video, finish up your algorithm, and then turn me back on when you have already done this. And you're also going to set your scene. We're here in Alice, and I have picked just a snow template. I'm going to keep it pretty basic. You can pick whichever template that's going to go with your scene and storyboard. And let's add our objects. Now, the movie was done with a different version, so the snow people look a little bit different. I'm coming here to search, and I put in snow, and I've got a snowman, and I've got a snow woman. And I can use these. So I'm going to drag up the snowman. And remember, I'm going to give him a name. I called mine Bob. You call yours whatever. And there he is. And he's pretty big. And I might want to just go ahead and keep him this way. If I want to resize, I can make him a little bit smaller. But I still want him in pretty good size. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get my first snow woman. And this is going to be Jane. Move her up, kind of. Maybe put her right there. And I'm going to get a Lucy. Now I do want them to face each other, so I can click and I can use the rotation. And if this gets a little tricky, sometimes you're not always successful using the little handles at the bottom. So remember, you could always go to one shots. I'm going to have her, this is her right hand, so I'm going to come here to procedures. And I'm going to have her move. I'm going to have her turn to the right, a quarter turn. And I'm going to click on Jane, and I'm going to have her turn to the left a quarter turn. So I've got them facing each other. I'm going to have the snowman here, and I've set my scene. Now you can add other props if you want to, but I don't want you to take a lot of time to set a scene when the main thing is to have these three characters and these three objects and to get their code. So don't take half an hour setting up a scene. If you want to add more, then just do it quickly and then move on. I've got my scene set up and I can take a screenshot of this. I'm going to come back to my Word document because I've set the scene. It says take a, put a screenshot right here in your code. And I'm going to come to insert. And I should be able to find, if you have your document in a fuller screen, I've got screenshot. There it is. And then I can even crop it. So I'm going to come here to my picture. I'm going to use the crop tool. And I've got a picture, the setup of my scene. Okay, now for step three, oh, that's going to come up here. Step three, we're actually going to implement the design. So you've got your algorithm. And you're going to follow the steps and you're going to do your code. Let's review step three. You're going to implement the design. Use your storyboard, your algorithm to write code. You're going to use incremental development. Remember to write statements or code a few steps at a time and test while writing the program. Do not write the entire program at once and then test. It's also a good idea to save as you go. So you're writing a few lines of code, testing, saving. Implementation is the act of translating an algorithm or storyboard into a computer program. You're going to take your line, your instructions and the code and drag it into your code editor. You're going to drop your statements here in the My First Method tab. If I want the snowman to turn to face Jane, I'm going to click on snowman or use it from here, Bob, and I'm going to have the turn to face. He's going to turn to face Jane. And he might move forward. He might say a hem. You're going to follow your algorithm and, you know, do a few lines of code and test it. Do a few lines of code, test it for your, out for your um, incremental development. Now down here at the bottom, you do have a do in order, which is just going to, it's the default is do in order, one line at a time. You also have a do together. So if I do want to make his eyes move, or maybe I want his hands to move instead, the, 
getting the eyes to move or even the hands can be a little bit tricky because it's just going to let you turn or roll. So find something and then try using a do together. So if I want both hands to move at the same time, I use the do together tab first. And then to get the subparts, I'm going to come here to Bob. Here's a lot of subparts. I've got neck, eyes. So you can try the eyes. If I get to the eyes, the only things they can do is turn and roll, but I might be able to use those to get them to go up. If you want to do a different motion instead, back here at Bob, and I can come here to my other joints, and I've got foots, hands, all kinds of things. So find something for him to do to get the attention of the snow woman, and use a do together. We'll take a final look at our requirements, and then you're going to be on your way. Here are the requirements. You need to use two different objects that say and move something, and you've actually got three. You're going to have a do together block, and you're going to try random numbers, and you're going to be using subparts. Now for your random numbers, you can use them in your code anywhere where you have a number. So you can use it in duration, you can use it for turn, you can use it for move. I like to use it for move. So let's say we want Bob to move towards the snow woman before he speaks to them. I've got Bob selected. I'm going to use the move. And I'm going to put it just after turn to face here and I'm going to move forward and I'm going to go ahead and pick a number. Now I can go to this number, it was right here, and using the triangle I can change it and here we see random. So I've got a couple of choices here. Let's just go ahead and pick random in range and it's going from 0 to 1, but I can change those. So right now it's 0 to 1. Let's change the 1 to maybe 5. And can change the first number to 2. You can pick whatever numbers you want. So he's going to move anywhere from 2 to 5 steps forward. And remember you can use random numbers anywhere where you have a number. So be creative in how you give it a try in your program. Then the last step is to test. When you click on the run button, it's going to the computer is going to run all the code that it finds in my first method. You should see your animation act out your instructions. Revise and test if needed until your computer program is correct. You're going to take a screenshot of your final code, put it into your notes page, and then follow the directions to turn in your project.